Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan again. Today I want to talk about Asdell. Now, um, Asdell is not necessarily a new material. It's been around for quite a while and uh, it's just only recently become like a really big deal for some folks. Maybe the word of it finally got out enough there because it wasn't in a lot of mainstream products for a while, but it's certainly there now. Where you'll find it here at Halid RV is in the walls of uh, Freedom Express and Apex Lightweights by Coachman and pretty much all over the place in, in Rockwood Geo Pro models and in very few select things like Jake will use it behind the diamond plate of certain things and in their ramp doors, but mostly you'll find it in the sidewalls of our, our Coachman's and all over the place in our Rockwood Geo Pros. What is this stuff? Well. I've got a couple visual samples here. Uh, basically, what what it basically is it's it's a it's a resin, and it's a it's a Luan substitute. It's a wood substitute. Um, the benefits here it is more expensive. It's about seven times more expensive than Luan. That's people say. Well, it's so great. Why doesn't everyone use it? Because it's freaking expensive by comparison. And the bigger the trailer is, the more expensive it gets very quickly. But um, it's. Depending on who you talk to, they say 40 to 60% lighter than Luan, so I just say, I don't know, about 50%. It's lighter than Luan, we all know that. And it's a resin, it's not wood. Wood is a water-starved material. It wants to be a sponge. That's why whenever you see an unfortunate water penetration in an RV, it's like, it got so bad so fast. Well, it's because all of that material that builds an RV is water-starved. So that wood's just waiting to soak water up like a sponge every chance it gets. This stuff ain't. You can throw water at this all day, it doesn't break down. It's just not what's going to happen. So it's just a hard water barrier. Um, it does have a little bit better R value. The uh, I don't have hard data on this, what I have been advised from our manufacturers. So take this with a grain of salt, always do your own homework, I say that all the time. What I've been advised is this stuff uh, will basically take an R7 inch and a half ultralight wall up to an R9 like uh, two inch value, two inch, R, two inch wall R value. That's apparently too hard for me to say. Um, so like, where do you find it? How do you find it? Let me get up close and show you here. So this is a normal wall. You got Luan inside, outside. This is normal RV construction and it's fine. It's not that there's anything wrong with this. It's just that you can argue that Asdell is better for the additional cost. Now, if you look at it side by side here, if you look at the, the, the top sheet, that's where the Asdell is in this wall right here. Um, it, you know, it's, it's not terribly impressive, but I want you to understand something. This chunk I have here in, in my hand, this was submerged in water for 60 days. And it looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? It didn't delaminate, it didn't fall apart. Now, if you look at it really, really closely, you can see a little bit of discoloration on that interior wall panel, but it's still there. It didn't fall apart. What's also really cool is over at the Coachman Apex plant, their big sign by the road, the big Apex sign, it's not actually a sign. It's literally a sidewall off an Apex that they just put graphics on, like plant number five or whatever. And it's not, the edges aren't sealed. You can see the exposed edges on the wall, in the rain, in the wind, in the snow and ice. It's been there for years with no discernible weather problems. That's, that's what's pretty impressive. This stuff can be really great. Um, it has a little better sound deadening quality, so it's a little quieter in your RV. It's a very green product because it's recycled. It also has less chemicals involved in it. The state of California, you should like that. I'm not throwing shade there by any stretch. It just, it seems like everything is like, the state of California says this will give you cancer. Why doesn't any other state care about cancer? I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> pardon me. There's a few other benefits to it, but that, that's the majority, is that it's lighter weight and it, it's, it's, in theory, vastly longer lasting in the unfortunate event of a water penetration because it turns the wall from water absorbent to water repellent. Um, that's the theory behind it. Generally, in practice, I've seen that pretty much be the case. Uh, we've carried some different brands that use Asdell through the years. One brand that we no longer carry uh, because they, it, it's a good thing they were built out of Asdell. This is this is how I know Asdell works. We carried a branded trailer that um, the guys at the factory obviously didn't know how to seal anything. And they would come from the factory leaks and thank God they were built out of Asdell because it allowed our team to dry things out, to seal them up, and there was nothing wrong with the trailer. And after we went through one, one of them, after we finished building it, I guess you could say, 
it was such a nice trailer that Mr. Halo actually decided he'd take one home. He's got a, one of those as his personal use trailer. But unfortunately, just as a general rule, we didn't feel like it was a product up to our standards. Every dealership has their own way of doing business. It just didn't work with ours. Um, so it's, it's kind of neat stuff. You're finding it used more and more. The auto industry is starting to use a lot of this, and which is part of the reason it's a lot more expensive right now because for the RV business to get it, they have to pay auto manufacturer money. And woo, woo. I don't want to foot that bill. So it's neat stuff. Here's the question. Should it be a deal breaker? And I can't answer that question. That's not up to me. That's not something you shouldn't take my opinion on that. You shouldn't take any dealer's opinion on that. <laughs> Guys, our opinion's a little bit biased. My paycheck depends on you visiting my dealership. But I want to do you the job of educating you and let you decide if it's important. If what you're looking for is a trailer that you're going to keep a couple years, like let's say you're a family and you're going to have a bunkhouse for five or six years and swap out of it. I don't think you should care about Asdell because you're going to be out of that trailer before it should ever matter. If uh, what you're looking for is like the last trailer you ever want to buy, maybe it matters. Maybe you should look into that. But there's a lot of trailers built for the last trailer you're ever going to own. There's a lot of them built with that goal that don't use Asdell, Rockwood, Winnebago, most of your Jayco's, stuff like that. A lot of your Keystones, you know, like your Montanas, they don't use Asdell. They get along just fine. So I don't think it's something you need, but I think it's something that you might like. And I think that there are benefits to it that maybe will enhance your camping experience. And that's why we carry so many brands here at Haywood RV to help you zero in on the one that best fits your camping experience. It's not about what I like. We sell floor plans all the time that I look at and I go, this is a stupid, bad floor plan. But it continues to be a bestseller because it's not about what I like. It's about what you folks like and what you take home. And everyone camps different. What I think is stupid, obviously, majority of the industry does not. So I think Gasdale's neat. I don't know that it should be a deal breaker. Maybe you disagree. And if you disagree, then buy one with Asdo. And if you don't, then don't. <laughs> Whatever you feel like doing, guys. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Have a great day.